Well, uh, thank you for taking time out of your schedule. I know you're super busy, man. I see you uh, on all these flights every day, back and forth to the A. How the, uh, you you moving now, man? You you moving heavy right now? I mean, you know, I, I, it's, it's 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 a lot going on, bro. You feel me? You know what I mean? Um, I've been moving, but it's a different it's a different energy now, fam. You feel what I'm saying? It's a different right, right. It's a different right. aura. It's a different um. It's a different atmosphere, man. Right, man. It, it looked like it was a good year for uh, DJ Alamo, man. 2020 was a good year for you, right? <laughs> I mean, you know what? It started off kind of crazy. And I'm, and, you know, I was just telling my folks this, like, you know what I'm saying? The only thing that, like, 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 people was watching me, like, yo, what was you doing? What, what you had going on? What, 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 you know what I mean? And I'm like, right. Like, I, I seen a void where, um, you know, I live off of DJing. I live off of being in a nightclub. I, I live off of, uh, you know what I'm saying, providing and helping other artists and, and things like that. And when there's no platform, I, I, I kind of panicked. I'm right. not gonna lie. I was one of those guys that panicked. I, I, I felt like I don't know what to do. I don't know what the fuck, I, you know what I mean, where my next couple of dollars going to come from. I, 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 you, I, went, I went through a little stage. I can't yeah. front, you know. I'm a real one to say it because I really went through it, and you know, what I mean, um, I just had to figure it out. And um, what I did was is um, I just start uh, doing promo runs in Atlanta. Right. That's that's like it, it. It looked like it took off too. No, I mean it, it took off to the point where all the shit that I got going on right now is kind of like. Like in the last three months, four months, I say four months, in the last four months, I kind of like, I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't I don't know what I did, but whatever I did in the last four months, that shit has catapulted to the point of of the shit that I'm doing now. Right. Now, um, from from Jersey to Atlanta, um, what's, what's, uh, you know, what's so different about it? You know, let some of the people know that they, you know, everybody wants to go there, but what's so different about it that you can tell us? Because you're there, you're there frequently, so you see this, you know, you're in the clubs, you're around all these artists. What's different between Jersey and Atlanta? You know, everybody want to run to Atlanta, but you just can't run to a city and think, you know, it's going to happen if you wasn't doing it in your own city. But what's different that they're doing down there that, you know, other places aren't doing, you know, with the music thing? I wouldn't even say I would say that number one that the um just just for one number one the music industry is in Atlanta. Right. It's not in New Jersey, it's not in New York, it's not in Philly, it's not in Connecticut, it's not in DC. It's in fucking Atlanta. Like everybody you want to be around and see is in Atlanta. You can't even compare it. That's why. That's why I'll start at first with answering your question. You can't even compare. Um, you can't even compare Atlanta to New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? Because number one, we don't even just let's start right here. It's over twenty. It's over thirty something strip clubs. Right. Yeah. Jersey don't got all that. Jersey has one. Yeah. I mean, well. They got more, but, but you know, like a you, you know, don't have thirty. You don't have thirty. Thirty big ones at that too. That's that can that rocks every day. Even, even if it's if, even if it's even if it's a hole in the wall, I got a spot out there called a Vu. That going that shit going to about that shit go to ten in the morning, and then the shift start a whole new shift starts at eleven in the morning. So it basically, you know, never closed then. There's, there's no such thing. You understand what I'm saying? So so we don't have that. Even if you go to Philly, we have our little um, after hours or whatever. It's not the same. It's really not the same. So there's no comparison of Philly and, I mean, I mean um, Atlanta and New Jersey. There is no comparison. There right, is right. no, there, there, there's, there's nothing. Number one, the, I'll start right here and I'll say this and I'll start with saying this and there's no disrespect. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old, you, you always keep it. You keep it real, though. You keep no it. Uh, you always keep it real. Right. There's no disrespect. The Atlanta artists, just, just Atlanta, Atlanta, just, just what's going. I'll say. I'm not gonna say Atlanta artists. I'm, I'll just say what's going on in Atlanta. They treat right. the DJs. The, their DJs are treated better than the artists because the DJs make the records go. But 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 see, some people will say, "I'm in Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta." Like what I've been noticing in the last four months, everybody's been coming to Atlanta. It's a bunch of artists you probably know that came to Atlanta. I bet they got nothing done. Hey, I know I know some artists you know that as as out there. Some that's working, and some that's you know I haven't heard from them in a minute. They didn't get nothing done. When I say they didn't get nothing done, I mean there's no interviews. There's no. They're not in the clubs. That's popping. They're just right. people showcases performing. Yeah, and that's not. It, it's, or, it's it's more. It's more or, going on. There goes the other one. Or they're just at all the places that they think is popping because what they see on the internet, not knowing that you're going to tourist spots. Right. That's what a lot of people are going to. Everything that people see on TV or the names they might have heard of or whatever they see on Instagram, that's what they follow. But it's so, 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 so much more. <laughs> so much more going on. You know what I'm saying? It's like the parties that you think that people is at, like the compounds, yes. Yes, the compounds, Republics, Suites, the Josephines, the Medusas, the the um, Go Rooms, the woo 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 woo. Yes, right. All in the mix. But then you got you got some of these people who go out there and they and, and from back home and they go out and do the same bullshit and get nothing done. You ain't get no interviews. You ain't talk to no big bloggers. It's so many powerful people in Atlanta. That's like this is where the hubs at. Spinrilla is there. Audio Mac is there. My mixtapes is there. All those people have hubs in Atlanta. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So it's right. like they, they 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 have a Shade Four Five. They have they have every, the YouTube. They have the the TikTok building. The the the, the everything's there. The, it's it's there, bro. So basically, it's moving from it's moving from LA to there. Basically, I mean, is you're going between LA and between Atlanta. Yeah. There's no way around it. It's only LA and Atlanta, and the only reason you come to New York is for Shade Four Five, which now they're building Shade Four Five buildings in other in other cities right now. So you don't necessarily, but for certain people, show you have to go to New York, and then all right. they got in New York, I think, is the Breakfast Club, and this is Fifty, and um youtube right but but why 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 the shift why the shift to atlanta I, mean, I, like, I really can't tell you why the shift but it's been like that over the last what yeah I, i've seen it because uh you know uh i had some dudes from buffalo on on the show and they moved to atlanta and and they and they picked up a little bit down there you know what i mean like it was bigger from what they was doing at home you, you know what I mean? One thing. This is this is one thing I try to tell somebody every night. Like, if you follow me, if you follow what I've been doing, I've been in the club the last seven nights of this week from 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 Christmas, Christmas night. I flew back to Atlanta because I had to DJ a party, and 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 so it was Friday. Then. So from 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 Christmas, from Christmas Day to today, I'm just coming back. You understand what I'm saying? I've de I've been in the club every single night since then. You putting in work, man. Multiple what, clubs. But 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 I see you always like going back and forth. Why not just make it your home down there? For what? You, it, you feel like you're getting you know a lot of a lot you know a lot of your work is there, so it's like you know to come back and forth. The only like, reason why a lot of work is there is because there's no work here. Yeah, but well, most stuff is open down there. They just you know. That's, well, that's, that's, that's the only yeah. place that's open. You they're got, in, they're you got, in Florida. You got, you got New York DJs down there. You got you got uh, Detroit DJs. You got Houston DJs. You got Miami DJs. You got LA DJs. Everybody's coming to Atlanta to try to, to try to make it happen or make some couple dollars. 
while this pandemic is going until their area is open. Um, Tampa is open. Orlando's open. Miami's open. Miami's Some open, people yeah. really don't know that, though. If you're not really in the mix, you wouldn't know that these pots is open because you. some people just so succumb to sitting on the Internet and thinking what they see on the Internet is what it is. You know what I mean? and, and, and that's why I kind of just like I'm kind of glad I'm in the space that I'm in right now because just today, just today I just made three new clients. You know what I'm saying? Right. That I'm about to uh I do promo runs in Atlanta now. So I do radio, I do um in the clubs every single night, getting your record play, interviews. Um, I'm I'm giving people results. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I'm doing it quietly. You don't see no promo about it, you don't see no promo about it, like nothing, nothing, nothing. But I got already nine artists under my belt. Yeah, you you know, you behind the scenes, and and one thing I do say about you is that you do try to help, but you keep it real with the artists. Like, you know, you got to have a budget, things like that, you know, because it's like they have to, you know, to work for this. You putting in work for them, so they have to work the same, you know. Yeah, I mean, and then again, it's just like, you know what I mean? I got on these platforms without you artists. Right. None of you artists helped me get to these platforms. Right. Not one artist co-signed me and said, DJ Alamo should be on Power 99 or DJ Alamo should be with this publication or DJ Alamo should be over here or over here. Matter of fact, call DJ Alamo for a booking. Yeah. But when I'm in place, it's like, yo, what's up, bro? It's Jersey. Man, y'all need to <laughs> cut that shit the fuck out. <laughs> So anybody, because I know it's going to be a lot, and I'm glad that I spoke on your platform because I know it's a lot of artists that fuck with you and be on your platform, the independent artists from Jersey. Like, let me just get this out the way, man, because I, I need everybody, because I know some of these niggas, they be talking greasy, they be talking crazy, <laughs> like, and, and it be like some of y'all really don't even be outside. That's number right. one. You know what I'm Let saying? But number two, listen, it's not even about that. Let's, let's let me keep it on a positive. It's like this. I'm willing to help any artist in Jersey, but I'm not doing it for free. Free, yeah. I'm not doing anything. I'm not calling anybody. I'm not doing nothing for free. You know why? Because I don't have to. Exactly, yeah. I don't have to do it for free, and I don't have to do it for money. I don't have to do it at all. Yeah, yeah. That's the main point, and it's like, I want to help, but I'm not going to help somebody who feels like I'm going to put their career under me and they're going to be up laid up with their girl, playing with her feet. And, and, <laughs> and you out working shit. super hard and they ain't doing nothing. Right. It's like, we're not doing that, bro. If I tell you to fly out and you need to be at this situation, I'm not paying for it. Yeah, you got to make it happen. Get out here, bro. Yeah. So, you know, I'm about to show and prove. Like, I got an artist right now coming out of South Jersey. I'm, I want to say his name. You know, I'm going to say it because it's already in the air, man. Like, I'm about to help this kid Oso, man. Watch what I do with Oso. Okay. Pa Poppy? No. No, no. His name is Oso? Oso from Salem, New Jersey. If you're not on to him. Okay, yeah. That, that's, uh, yeah, he's, that's my, yeah. He's one of the hottest little niggas coming out. 24. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm about to put, I'm, I'm about to put, watch the legs I put on him. Watch when you see something. It's going to be like, where'd it come from? Yeah. Oh, he with this one and that one and woo, 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 woo. Watch what I do, man. And I'm and, and, and I'm glad that they came to me humbly and asked for my help. And I was and I was happy to take it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy, you know, to, you, you, I'm happy to take on any artist, man. It's just they, dudes think that I that I that, that we own some. I don't owe y'all niggas nothing. I don't owe y'all right. niggas no record played in the club, Jersey this, Jersey that. Man, niggas don't scream my name when they out of town. Half niggas don't even go out of town, so it's more or less it's a local situation. So right. I, that's why I don't kind of indulge with the local list and the local this and the local that. It's just fueling the fire for things that don't even make sense. Yeah, I never was, uh, I never entertained the local list because, you know, like when you work, and you know what you do. You don't. You don't worry about things like that. You know. What right. I mean? You just. You just. You just continue to work because all. You know. Like I say to people all the time when they say, "Man, you should be on this list." I say, "I don't care about that. I. I, I know what I do on the back end of what you know, of what I'm doing on this side." Yeah, and, and then half of the time the stuff not even credible, bro. It goes nowhere. 
Yeah, it, it, it's just a. Uh, it's it's a local. Know. It's a local. Um, what, what you call it? It's a local conversation. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You that know. steers um, people up to have drama. That's it, and, and, or to and, give and their doesn't... opinions that don't even matter, bro. Like I'm, I'm kind of past all the stuff back home, man. I love right. to help everybody back home. Come on, let's. You know what I mean? The the, 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 the PSA is out. DJ Alamo wants to help. Yeah, but, but you, but 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 it ain't no free help though. You know, it ain't no free ninety nine shit going on. Not at all, bro. Like, but, but, and 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 that should be that shouldn't even be the case because at the end of the day. You know, when when this is your this is your job, that's that, you know, this is what these people have to do. This is your job. You get paid to be in clubs, to be these places. So it's like, why would you do something for free for somebody? You know, what I mean, they wouldn't do nothing for free for you, probably. You know, somebody told me I had some question with a big name DJ. Right. Um, this is me and DJ Infamous. Right. Um, OK. I'm real. I'm, I'm real. You know, I'm real connected with Infamous. That's ludicrous. DJ. Shout to shout out to my family that linked me with him. You know what I'm saying? And, and 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 we had a real conversation, right? And he was like, Alamo, now, if you was in a big stature, right, which you are or whatever, and somebody comes to you and asks you to do this or do that or whatever, 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 he said, turn that question back on them. Right. If you was in my position, would you put this on that major platform? Yeah, I, get what I thought about it, and I was like, "Damn, you kind of like got me stuck." Yeah, yeah. Because when a person gets to a statue, say if a person is a statue as Cosmic Kev, right? You see how they kill Cosmic Kev? They everybody's against Cosmic Kev. But that's that's his business model, the way he running, what he doing, though. Again, that's what I'm basically saying. It's like. How y'all mad at this man? And then, he, listen, I had to grow up, bro. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna have to. I had to grow up because the the, the things that they say about Kev, they say about DJ Alamo. Yeah, and 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 one thing I can say to you is that you know um, you plug me in with a lot of things, you know, and uh, I learned a lot doing this over these years and 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 now i see like in the beginning i used to be the same way when i hear things about kev like man that's crazy he doing that but now me doing this i'm like you know what he's absolutely right i'll probably be doing the same shit you Yo, know what i mean like you know these dudes will leave you depressed they leave you with a black cloud over your head they make you feel like 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 this is what I this is what I say. Like I I used to always be like I was like I said I I was there too, and I used to always be like, damn, 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 damn. And then I just think like, damn, like when it, when when it's time to stand up, no one stands up. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? We, so so it's right. kind of like it's like yo, like you know what I mean? Like I'm not against nobody. Like and and then I try to tell people like yes, you know I'm I'm a very much well, like, like representative re representation of, you know, the Jersey, South Jersey, you know what I'm saying? The whole Monica, like I did something for somebody where I linked North Jersey with South Jersey and people don't even know it behind the scenes. And I stepped away from it. Right. There's a situation where North Jersey and South Jersey kind of came together on, I, I linked some official dudes from North Jersey with some dudes from South Jersey and made it make sense for them and I ain't even a part of it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so you just don't yeah. yeah even with you, like it, it, anytime you ask me, yo, can you do this? Yo, can you do this? Can you link me with this person? Can you link me with that person? Bro, I do it and and, and, and keep it moving. Yeah, all, all the time, man. I don't, like I don't, you know. I don't think I don't think twice because listen, my relationships with people that I already have I'll never lose. You know why? Because I've broken so much bread with so many people that I have relationships with. Right. They're never going to turn their back on me. Why? Yeah. Because I always, when I call them, it's about some fucking money. Yeah. And, that, and, and, and that's what it all, and I don't want to say it boils down to that, but like it when, when, it, but when it's just somebody's job, it's like, you know, like for me, like, look, for, for me, for example, 
before, like when I started out, man, I didn't want to pay nobody for interviews, man. I was so against that. But now I'm like getting around to it. Like, you know what? It, it opens the conversation more when you say, look, I have this budget. You know what I mean? Like when you don't say you don't have no budget, it really don't open nothing. They just keep it pushing. What a lot of people don't realize is in this music business is music and is business. Mm -hmm. Those are the only two words. Music business, right? Right. So now let's break it down. Me personally, I feel like, no, it's not really about your bread. If you got your own bread and you can move around, I'll help you move around. Right. You ain't got to pay me. Just pay the situation that you need to be in. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. let's so so let's break it down. It's not really about the money, but if you don't have this, is what people don't get it they misconstrued. They be like, "Yo, I got good music. I got this. I got that." Okay, cool. And, yeah, that's cool. That's a little piece. That's a little I'm piece with, of I'm it. I'm with though. you. I'm with you, right? So it's like, all right, you cool. So now, who's going to pay for it to get to the DJs because it doesn't get there free? Who's going to pay for it to get the radio? Because your favorite artist, your favorite artist. Is on okay. it pays your favorite artist that you hear on the radio every fucking day has paid to be there. Right. It's no lie, right there. There's that's, that's no one. Like, listen, <laughs> yeah. listen, there's no, there's no uh, unless you have record. Now, this is the now here goes the kicker. This is the other breakdown part of it. Now, and I'm gonna use this as a synopsis. Because this is an example. Sometimes you got to use examples for the, real, for the real weirdo niggas that's watching. <laughs> don't understand. You know what I'm saying? But it's like this. Now, a Sim Santana, you see how his right. record organically blew? Yeah. His record organically blew. And then guess what? It went to the radio by itself. Because everybody's like, what's this record? What's this record? What's this record? What's this record? We don't got it. We don't got it. We don't got it. But it's everywhere. Right. You got people, you, you got videos, and people can go back and look. Is videos of this kid with parties and people stopping traffic. Two hundred song word for word. In the street saying the song word for word before it got to the radio. And that's how it got to the radio. Then it was a, it was a hit. Now it's a hit, it's in place, but it wasn't on the morning show with Doc B yet. It was it was just being played a lot. It just wasn't morning, afternoon, it didn't get there yet. Six right. months down the line, they put up that budget, which is 120000 mm -hmm. It was Some playing all the time. So we, we, we don't even want to do the numbers now. We don't even want to do that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but that hundred that hundred and twenty thousand had to be put in place so that record could go to flex. Remember when it was on flex um his list? Everybody mm -hmm. seen it. Do y'all think that yeah. it just got up there magically? Nah, didn't do it that way. But see, the record never went down south. It didn't get down south, love. It got east. Eastern love. It got Connecticut, Boston, Boston, DC, yeah. DC. It stopped at like maybe Virginia. You understand what I'm saying? So basically, people be people beyond Virginia probably was like, I never heard the joint. What are you they, talking about? Unless, unless they were from back up Philly, Philly what? Right now, they still never heard of it. So if you so if you spun up, he'll be like, Yo, what is this? I never heard this joint. No reaction. That, that's, that's super no crazy reaction. because because you know like. Me being in this area since, you know, his, his, you know, the way he came up, I'm like, you know, this record is known everywhere, but that, that's wild. That's what people got to get it misconstrued at. It's like the records that you think that is whatever, like Quilly, and this is, I'm helping him. I'm getting him out there. Right. That niggas don't even know who that is. He's not known past a Philly Philly, like Philly DMV, DC, that area. DMV, yeah. maybe North Carolina, like some. You know, I just got it. And I'm not the one here to brag. It's not a bragging situation. What I'm about yeah, to yeah, say, yeah, you just saying what you're doing. That's all. It's not a bragging situation. These are my guys. This life. I'm helping them. I'm a part of the situation. I got a phone call from a North Carolina DJ on 97.9 in Raleigh, North Carolina. One of my personal DJs, yo, Alamo, it's this record, my nigga. Ba 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 ba. Can you get it to me? I heard it. It's moving. I like it. I want to get on it. 
Who you heard playing it? Kev? Okay, cool. No problem. Say no more. Man, say no more. I got you, big bro. Not even 10 minutes. I sent them the fucking record. And guess yeah. what? Quilly's in rotation in Raleigh, North Carolina. On the strength of me. Yeah, man. You you know, you you but I will you know, never you... tell nobody that I just said it just now, but it's not even a situation where I, I, I even care to tell. It's a situation where, but listen, when your record is working, I will get wind of it. Right. There's nobody out here who you could name five artists, and I bet you I could tell you they're not buzzing anywhere but where <laughs> we are. We we come on we come on Alamo we both know that you know you know we know that all right so we ain't gonna do that so nah, you know you know we know that we we, we know that so th this yeah, is yeah. the thing about it it's like with these situations you know you know what I mean again that's why I say I'm glad to be on this platform with you because I know there's a lot of guys that 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 that, that follow your platform that don't fuck with me or just don't follow my platform or whatever the case may yeah, be yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. but the thing about it is this is like the door is wide open. But right. we ain't out here to play with nobody. We ain't out here. We we there's no sugar coating. You're not gonna waste nobody's time. So so, question for you: Since you're in these clubs, what is some hit records that we don't hear up this way that are are playing down that way? Um, the girl, the girl, Rennie Rucci got the record with Kevin Gates, hands on the knee. Okay. Um, yeah. you got uh. Slime Life Shorty. I don't know if they play Slime Life Shorty up here. Um, Slime Life Shorty, he's the fuck on fire. He got a song called um, Clappers. Um, Big Stepper. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Um, I know they playing um, Better Watch Your Whole Fire Hitter. Uh, yeah, yeah, Better yeah. Watch Your Whole Fire Hitter. You know I mean, that's my nigga and shit. Um, I'm, I ain't even throw my picture up with the nigga. I've been with the nigga two, two three, four times. Right. I still didn't throw up the picture. The nigga, fucking, <laughs> the nigga has a hit fucking record all over the country. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Um, they playing but, that um that what's the ball? It's a ball from North Jersey that I hear his, his name is Chicken Man or whatever. You know, I hear his song big up this way, but I I didn't know. Nah, trust me, I got the call too. A breezy Aubrey put me on right away. Yo, boom. Like, I was one of the... I, maybe I was one of the first between me and maybe RL, but I seen RL played it, and then I seen, I think, um, Wala played it as somebody. Yeah, Wala, yeah. Um, I heard Wala play it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, I mean, no disrespect. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, you know what I mean? Other than that, it's, it's where it's at. You feel what I'm saying? And I think the boy boy is moving around, though, and I like what he's doing. He's from Jersey. Again, again, again. Again and again, it might be here, but, it, but it's not there though. Oh, you know who is from from here? You know who is from here? From our area that is buzzing the the the, the pop hunter nigga. Oh the yeah, 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 Corvette, yeah. Corvette, Corvette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last five days, that sh that record. Well, well, that, that 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 took. You know, people are I mean, doing this TikTok I, video. Listen, I don't got nothing to do with that. I don't care. I'm just telling you, you asking me a question about yeah, what yeah, yeah. is popping in the club, the personal yeah. shit, I don't get into. But I'm going to tell you right now, Corvette Corvette goes the fuck in and fucking everywhere but here. When, when that shit comes on, all the females is Corvette Corvette. The niggas ain't with it, but the females is... That's it what's does, up, it man. Does, it does perfectly well in the club. Yeah, that's what's up. And um, for, for most artists, though, you know, what I say about Down South with the DJs is that Down South always showed love to the DJs, even in the mixtape era. Like, they were more, happy, like, they're about the mixtapes. It feels like, you know, up north, like, once our little mixtape era went away, it just stopped. People just stopped making mixtapes. Yeah, it's still South artists making mixtapes. You know what? It's, 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 it's our era of the East Coast who killed it. Vibe, listen, let me tell you something. Um, let, me, let, me, let me give you another quick jewel real quick. <laughs> you got me really spilling some shit today. <laughs> if everybody don't know, maybe you ever heard of a kid named a, a DJ, and I'm even gonna say he's a kid. You know what I mean? A grown man. I mean, but you know, it's it's, it's just a, a north talk. But um, the homie Swamp Izzo, 
If you if you okay. don't know who Swamp Izzo is, Swamp Izzo is one of the um only DJs that was for one of the first DJs who got a record between after DJ Khaled, but um Swamp Izzo is one of the first DJs who get a record deal from um Cash Money. Okay. So Swamp Izzo is one of the biggest mixtape DJs in Atlanta and in the South. Um legendary mixtapes. Um, he's at the legendary Blue Flame. Um, so I, so that's my guy. So 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 he knows me from the mixtapes. So he says to me when I go, I go in the club with him, do some work with him. Blah, blah, blah. He's part of my promo run, what I do for the artists too. So artists, you know, when I take you, I go, I I take you to Blue Flame to go see fucking Swamp Ezo. But whatever. So um, me and Swamp talk, and the nigga just said like, yo, let's, you know, let's, 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 let's just do something. I don't know, and I'm like. Yo, this is Swamp Izzo. He wants to do something with, me. <laughs> something with you. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, so to me, I'm thinking like, yo, this is crazy, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm around some great people. And and one thing I could tell you is, if people don't think that the mixtapes is, is still alive and still whatever, Lil Wayne just dropped a new mixtape, right? Did right. he have a DJ hosting it? No. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had Khaled host it. Mm. What? Which one? What? The last mixtape that Lil Wayne just fucking dropped, my nigga. Fucking drama is hosting it. Drama, okay, drama, yeah. Drama's on that. So if mixtape the one, the one relevant, before, and, and this is my thing to anybody that's still a Lil Wayne fan or just cares who Lil Wayne is, if you like him, he used the DJ. Everybody uses it, but drama is like they all want a gangster grill. All of them, all all wife and Lucci, his last mixtape, DJ. Right. This is what I keep saying. Like it's only uh, it's it's the East Coast, fam. That's why I kind of got I, I removed. <laughs> the, the East Coast has tore apart the 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 things that are relevant to our culture. Right. You go down south, niggas still put posters up. You go out south, niggas still got marketing promo. Niggas ain't yo. Got got bands wrapped and all that other shit right. riding around. Nigga, you you come out here. Niggas is like, man, you know what I'm saying? My shit on all streaming platforms. Bitch, you fucking dickhead. That shit <laughs> fucking goes nowhere. You fucking dickhead. Like, like the average person does not want to hear it. The average person who you tell to go, yo, my shit is on all streaming platforms, they're not going to look for it. No. The average consumer is not going to look for your shit when you say that. No. They want to be drawn to it, you know, like. They're not looking for. They're not looking going out typing your name, and they want to be like, "Oh shit, let me look that up." Poster on the wall, billboard. I'm driving. Yo, know, this is the other part that I don't like about South Jersey artists, man. Why do y'all drop a tape with no marketing and promotion? I say that all the time. Like, even look, even even no even one even cares I, that it's coming out, and then you yeah. drop it, and then no one still cares that it's out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even when I and even when I interviewed Gilly, he said the same thing. He said, "You guys, these artists always wait to put their tape out. Like, what are you waiting for? Like, nobody else is waiting for it. Just put the no, tape out. No one is waiting for it. No one. Your girlfriend not even waiting for it. She she hopes <laughs> that you don't. She she hopes that you don't even pay the money to do it because you might fucking take away from the fucking rent or." The car payment, the insurance, or something, because you out here doing some goofiness and you're not even serious, right? Niggas be just wasting people' time, bro. Like that's why that's why I, I, I remove myself. It's like if you want to talk business, let's talk business. But if you don't want to talk business, you gonna give me some soft story. I make good music and blah 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 blah. Man, find a fan to tell that to. Don't tell me yeah. that. Don't tell me that. I'm not trying to be the fan. You're not trying. Don't try to sell me. Sell a fan. I'm I, sell the fan. Yeah, you you, sell you, the you in the business. You're like, yo, I'm, I'm trying to help you. You know what I mean? You ain't got to, you know. You want to get to the next level. You want to get on what? BT Jams. You want to, you know what I'm saying? You want to get publications. You want to get write ups. You want to get interviews. You Where's the content? No one's talking about you. When you Google your name, that's how you see. It's, people don't understand. You get on these publications. That's how you get a blue check. I, I told yo. I, that's I, know, I, told, I, I told him that. I said. I said yo. I said I told. I told a couple artists that they didn't believe me. I said they always thought it was the followers. I said yo. You can have a thousand followers. I said if you're on publications, you're getting a blue check. 
I said, I'm, trust me, there's people out there with a thousand followers that got blue checks. I'm just being, I'm just being, being honest with you. Like, and I had to find that out on my own with being around the right people to say, right, yeah, bro, like just get on, just just get on a couple publications, my nigga. And guess what? I ain't even, I mean, I posted it, I ain't even, but I, I'm still kind of in shock about it. I posted it, but I got a write up from Revolt TV. They reached out That's to me. Dope. That's dope. You understand what I'm saying? I posted. I'm gonna post it again. I'm gonna post. I never. I never posted on my Instagram. I just posted it on Facebook. But um, Re Revolt TV reached out to me through my sister DJ Roots Queen, who nominated me and said, "Yo, I, you need to interview him. He's he's out here moving and shaking." Moving, yeah. Woo, 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 woo. And and she did this on her own merit, on the strength of her. You know what I mean? I that, that's one of my team partners, but. Me and her have, you know, broke bread and done things to, to the point where the last thing I thought that she would say, yo, Revolt TV, I need to, you know, interview DJ Alamo. No disrespect. And, I, and what I'm about to say, no disrespect. But what, what, what Jersey DJ you know got a Revolt TV write-up, nigga? None that I know. We None can go look for it. We could go yeah. look for it. We could pull it up. <laughs> and talking about who I am and what I'm doing and, and me being on tour as a tour DJ and being with artists and woo. You know who gave me that help? Nobody from the East Coast. Somebody from down South that seen my fucking worth. You understand what I'm saying? So right. at the end of the day, like, like, listen, man, like, I put myself in every position I ever been in. I don't got no cosign. I don't got no fucking. Um, I don't but got no bag behind. Hard. I don't got. I don't got. Nothing. I don't got none of that. All I did was I, I. I know how to network. I put myself in position. It's it, listen. This is one thing that I tell people, and I'm gonna put it out there. It's times where I I reached out to somebody and said, "I'll DJ for free. Just put me on the bill so I can show you what I can do." Yeah, you got to show them your work sometime. I've I've took a loss before, but it get, but it but it got you back to a dump. It got you back to a win, probably. On the flip listen, side, listen, I've took in ultimate losses where it's like, man, I'm gonna take this flight. Fuck it, I ain't getting paid, but fuck it, I'm out. Yeah, you understand what, what happened? Yeah. But if I'm not in the right place at the right time and I'm talking to the right person who believes and looks in my eyes and feels like, whoop, 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 I believe you. I believe you. I, I see your hunger. That's why, that's why my slogan has been, outwork who? Not me. Yeah, that's where it, it came it from. It's not, no, it's not a subliminal. I'm not coming at nobody. I'm just telling them I'm doing everything that you won't do. Everything you won't do, I'm going to do. You don't want to take a flight out and go figure it out in the pandemic? I did. And it worked for me. Right. Now to the point where I'm on a hip-hop since 1987 tour. I did two tours in the pandemic. I've I seen it. Right. Yeah. I two tours. From different cities, too. Different cities. Miami, Atlanta, mm -hmm. Tennessee. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean and you do, And you do what? The... Um, it's another joint you do, the hip-hop, uh, is that what, Daily or something like that? I know uh, you do something else. Oh, uh, I do I, I, I do write-ups and interviews for Hip-Hop Weekly magazine. Hip-Hop Weekly, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was something else. But trust me, I, every time I, I go on the book or somewhere, I see you with the mask on on the plane. And I said, man, this guy, this guy is always going somewhere, man. I said, you and know. Some people, listen, some people like, man, you out here, boo, 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 boo. Listen, man, every time I got on the plane, I got a check. That's every that's time you see me on a plane, you, a check. I wow. got a fucking check. Or I was going to get a check or I made a check or whatever the case may be. I'm not out here playing, but at the same time, I understand that, you know, if, 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 if I don't work and you, you don't get nothing from sitting around, no one, I try to, and, 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 I, and I, like, I want, I want our area to win. I, I so sincerely want us to win, but the egos and the, 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 the um, the feeling of someone owes you. It's like, yo, listen, I wasn't even born in New Jersey, man. 
Right, right. So you don't really. But my birth certificate it. don't say New Jersey. Right. You understand what I'm saying, bro? I didn't. I didn't do the the. I, I didn't do, do. I didn't do the elementary school with niggas like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I mean, man. <laughs> nah, man. Like I'm not one of them guys. I spent enough time in New Jersey for niggas to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. You from New Jersey? Yeah, all right, whatever. But my nigga, I wasn't born here, bro. Right. I came here. Yeah. And I rep this shit stronger than half the half some the people from here. From here. That's facts. And when I go out of town, nigga, some niggas' names ain't good, but my name? Smooth sailing, my nigga. You say my name in any in a, in a lot of different cities and states, my, my name is good from motherfucking Connecticut all the way up to motherfucking, motherfucking, I say Colorado, bitch. Ask a nigga about way. Colorado. I got ties in Colorado. I'm about, actually, 420, I'm doing a showcase. I ain't even put that out there yet, but I'm doing a whole big showcase with a dispensary called Buku Lounge in motherfucking in motherfucking uh, Colorado Springs, um, uh, Denver, Colorado. I'm, I'm I'm on my way to Colorado for 420, my nigga. I'm doing my own showcase with a fucking dispensary. They asked me to do it. <laughs> That's what's that's up. That's why. I don't, that's why. That's why I don't. I, I, I don't brag. I don't get on any of that. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not. It's not bragging, but it, it's, it's not. just what's, it's what's dropping in your lap now, man. And you just saying what, what's happening. That's all. And, and at the end of the day, it's like yo. I tell niggas all the time. Y'all don't gotta fuck with me. It's cool. I don't care. But you always result back to having but, to have but, a conversation with. But at the end of look, Jay look, Alamo. Alamo. At Alamo, check this out. But you know when. Regardless if they don't fuck with you, right? When that record come across somebody else and they say it's from your area, they gonna hit you like, "Yo, you no bull, this and that." Trust me, and I you probably call. had them calls before. I, I didn't. I just get through. I just got yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just got that for Quilly. But you, you probably had more of them. You had tons of them very calls. Much, you know what I mean? Very much, very much, very much. I've gotten calls about a couple guys. I got a couple. I got a call about Papioso. Um, I got a call about um OT the real. I got calls about um 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 uh hard luck. I got um calls about Fetty Wap. I got calls about um uh, I'm trying to think. It was somebody from the area that people know. Um, I got a call about T Dot. I got calls about um. I got calls about a lot of guys, man, from the from the area, and and even if I didn't have a relationship with them, I told them, "Yup, they the ones." And yeah. the, all the DJs will tell you that that like I got D, I got I've gotten calls, and, and that's one thing nobody on. One thing I'll tell, and this is one thing I stand on. I'll stand on anything. I know we got a lot of guys out here that got relationships, but my DJ community, I got DJs in different countries and states that will yeah, do yeah. anything. For me, I just don't ask them for it, right? Because nobody has given me the energy and the and in the worth to feel like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, let me do this on on, on my relationship. But this is one thing I want to say. Let's let's put this right out there right now with me. You only got one. You only got one um, favor with me. So I tell people, use the favor later. Work right. with me now. Use the use favor, the favor later. Because if you use the favor now, you don't get no favor next time. And that's what it has been with me and er an artist from the area. There's no artist that can tell you I ain't host a mixtape for free. I've hosted the most mixtape for free from any South Jersey artist that you ever would talk to. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that they... You know what I'm saying? The, fir the, the first joint I ever heard you on um, was uh, shout out to my man Rail Buck joint. That's the first one I ever heard you on. You know, I didn't know of you until I heard that, and I was like, man, you know, yeah. But that, you know, I, I, I and and I say that to artists too, because some artists always say, you know, they 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 kind of feel like, oh, you know, this person don't help that person, and I say, but they don't have to help you. Well, we're not. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like the they're not entitled to help you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They they don't say that they don't say that when they go to the Gucci store. Exactly. They don't say that when they go to the 
to the to, to they sit sit in line for them Jordans and shit. Or they don't say that when they, you know what I'm saying? So so I kind of I kind of weed away from that. I went through that stage. Niggas say whatever they want about me. I don't care. Yeah, I do you know what you're care. doing now. You, you nigga, already know what you're doing. But when they see me in person, it's what's up, my nigga? Woo, 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 woo. Come on, bro. Like at the end of the day, like if you ain't solid now, don't be solid later. Cause I don't I don't need it. Right. I'm cool. So, so so what I always say to people, and um I always say that, you know, we're gonna know who's working after this pandemic because you know, a lot of people have been sitting around. So when these doors open, we gonna know who was really working and who wasn't working. That's what I always say to people all the time. I say this pandemic show is gonna show who was really working behind the scenes. Yo, listen, who wasn't bro. working when the doors open. Listen, bro, let me tell you something, man. It's a whole new budget that just dropped with new artists that's about to start coming in the next month or so. A whole new bright, but you know how many artists lost their deals? Lots. Lots. I can tell because I can, I don't I don't hear the music and I don't see them no more. They disappeared. But then you then you you ain't see the whole thing with the Spotify situation. You ain't mm -hmm. see with the Distro Kid and all that stuff. Yeah, I've been I've been doing my research on it. it yeah. It's it's crazy what's going on. But I mean, you know, did, did, all I was thinking about was damn. Remember all the niggas that was throwing up their good ass numbers and shit. That was that was bullshit. It had to be. Yeah, it was bullshit. It I yo look with that with that. I always get in arguments with people with that because I was like, "What did that uh, that that didn't equate to no dollars?" This is one of this, what? This, <laughs> this is the other thing. The same people you be thinking that yeah, you nigga, nigga got a, like I know a nigga right now from Miami. He got a million streams, right, nigga? You might have heard of him because you in tune. But some niggas, if I say the name, they be like, "Man, I never heard of him." A nigga named Third World Dog. He has a he has okay. a, he has he has a, he has he has a million streams on one record called Blessed. Still never heard of him. So then how does it make sense that he's popping? Not saying that he's not, but I'm telling right, right, right. Niggas, like I'm telling niggas like it don't matter if you got a million streams or not. That still don't equate to what's being popping when you in a nightlight. When you go to that club, you go to that after hours, you go to that strip club, and your record is nowhere in no one's fucking atmosphere, that's when you start to feel like a dickhead. Yeah. Because I mean, like the clubs. Is what you it's know, people, run, it's still, listen, run, yeah, run that. Yeah, it's, 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 if your club, record's not in the club, it's not, it's not a hit. My nigga, I'm trying to tell you right now. I'm trying to tell you right now. I'm trying to listen. Let me give you, let me give you another synopsis. You know, this record that everybody's so crazy about, Throat Baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. That record bit came out on January 26th of 2020. <laughs> it's just getting here. So you do y'all y'all all do the math. Everybody who's throat baby loved out January twenty sixth of two thousand twenty. The record came out. Yeah, so it so it, it been it been rocking. It just got it was, here late. It was in Atlanta for eight months before it touched our area. They blew that nigga up. They own area blew him up. And that's what the problem is. That's remember that remember the question you asked me about. What's right. wrong with Jersey? No one want no no one in the area wants to blow one person the fuck up. That because everybody every, everybody wants to be the man. Hey, hey man, hey, listen. No one can. Everyone can't be the man. I don't want to be the man, bro. <laughs> no, me, neither do I. I just want you. I, I, let me I. stand right behind you and be like this. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> Who's the weird nigga with the peace sign? <laughs> me. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. I so, agree. you know, I mean, at the end of the day, long story short, this this conversation, I want to help Jer our Jersey artists, but y'all better get it together. Y'all got to get some budgets. No one will, no one is getting anything done for free. No artist unless they are already established. And then they still pay. Yeah, this is a business. Drake, it's a business. Is, Drake still pays for radio. Yeah, it's a business at the end of the day. No. You repeat it. Nigga, you repeat uh, it with me after I repeat it right now. You repeat what I'm about to say right now. Drake right. still pays for radio in <laughs> the fucking world. You repeat that, my nigga. Drake still pays for radio in the world. And nobody... But, but the normal person wouldn't believe that. 
but we, you know, we know the business and we know how this shit moves. So you know what I mean? Listen, there's no way around it. There's no way around it. You know what it's called? And we about to give him some game right now, and we got to get off, bro. Because we tell him <laughs> more, we, we we tell him anything more, my nigga. We 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 giving away the cheat sheet. It's I called. And I need everybody to be silent right now. Let's do a drum. <laughs> it's called advertising, you dickheads. Go advertising, and your record will go wherever you want it to. They, they don't got the budget for that, man. They they, they, they think they don't believe in that. They, they think that's it's all. A, they always say to me, it's a scam. And I'm like, it's not a scam. That's how you get your record known to places because not everybody goes to the same sites and the same YouTube searches. So you got to plaster your shit everywhere so people find it. Why do you think niggas got billboards? Exactly. Why you think niggas got YouTube ads that come up in their city on you know, everybody's city? Niggas target what cities to pull up because that's what you want. That's where you. All right, I'm telling too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I. Hey, man, look, I've been getting game and I've been doing all this same stuff. And now, man, you always look me out, and I appreciate this conversation. Before we get out of here, drop your Instagram. And if these artists do want to work with you, like like we said before, you need that budget, but, you know, drop that info, too. Yeah, first off and foremost, listen, man, all Jersey artists, South Jersey, North Jersey, Central Jersey, Delaware, wherever, wherever you are, I don't care if you're from Jersey or not, it ain't really just about Jersey, it's just, you know, that's where I'm, you know, I'm located, so, you know, you know, I, I, I still hold down the stigma. But other than that, man, listen, man, if y'all want to work, I am DJ Alamo, Instagram, Twitter. And listen, if you're still not on Twitter, you still not lo- understanding what's going on. Twitter is still popping. Um, 24kmixtapes.com, still active. Get there. Um, we just launched a new site. Everything is beautiful. Um, other than that, Hip Hop Weekly Magazine, get there. The Hype Magazine, get there. Hip Hop Since 1987.com, get there. Um, million dollars worth of game. You know what I mean? I, I ain't even going to speak on that. It's a whole new... This week... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole nother so that, thing That's right a whole nother situation. Shout out to my dog, Gil and Wallow. It's a big announcement about to come this week, man, about me. So, you know what I mean? Other than that, man, let's let, let's just keep it making, making sits, man. So, if y'all got any feelings, man, y'all feeling some sort of way, we do not <laughs> care. <laughs> It's personal, feel me? Like, it, it, it don't make it personal. Let's make it as you either come together or or, or, or we, we, we against each other, but against each other doesn't make anything make sense. So let's all make it make sense. I don't got no problem with no artists, no DJs. Like, come over to Coalition DJs, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I got openers, I got spots, I got work, you know what I'm saying? If you want to work, and, and, fuck with the kids, you know what I'm saying? Coalition, Coalition DJs, DJs every Sunday, right? Every Sunday we doing it Zoom calls. We about to come back live in the studio. We we'll breaking everything down, but we dealing with this COVID situation. But other than that, before that, man, you know what? Our anniversary is uh, January eighteenth. I got some big people on the lineup for that. I'm about to throw that out there. Listen, man, anything where, where that's gonna be at? Where that's gonna be at? Down, down, down the A. Atlanta Central Station. Um, I just tell y'all one people. We one person that we got on the on the lineup. Um, we, we we just we just cleared the board. Um, the, who I, we were just talking about? Um, um, uh, money Moo. Um, you know what I mean? Better watch your whole fire header. You know what I mean, okay. um, wife and Lucci. I, I'm 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 just leaving it alone. You feel me? Said, but listen. If you want to do some media, I can get you in there, brother. Yeah, 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 talk, yeah definitely, talk definitely. I'll link definitely. you up with, with my folks. I'm doing media this year. This is the first year I'm be doing. Um, media on, on, on. see, so there's a whole bunch of stuff I'm doing. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm about to drop a whole video joint. Shout the hype magazine, Jay. Jay, we about to drop a um joint on Roku. Everybody got that Roku channel, so you know you about to see me on there dropping the top twenty hottest videos in the country. I'm on some other shit. Like yeah, I'm okay, killing okay, me. okay, okay. Killing you, you doing you doing you doing some big things right now. Okay, I see you. Nah, I'm, I'm taking it. See, this is one thing I got realized. You can be a good DJ, but you got to have more going on than just DJ. I do ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah. That's just the, that was the, that's the that's that's the stepping stone. Then you just branching off the other things. Why not? You you know what I mean? What, what are you doing it for to stay at one level? Yeah. 
Get so you. we got a lot going on. I appreciate the situation, man. I appreciate the whole movement, hype city. You know, I, you know, anything I could do, you know, I always will. You know, what I mean, stay, 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 stay. You know, I see what's going on over there. You know, so you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you always uh, one, one, one thing I always say about you when people say anything, I always say, man, he always uh, looked me out, and you know, what I mean, it was never no. You know, I said you got to understand that if you're not really in the mix or working, then he gonna look at you like, come on. But I said, it's nothing. He always looked me out. I always tell people about that party you invited me to, where it had a, all the liquor. It was the boy Johnny's uh, album release party. I talk about that every day on the people. I'm like, yo, this party was crazy. I said, I've never been to nothing like that. And I was like, yo, man, DJ Alma looked me out. I said, I wouldn't have knew about that, but you know. Yo, listen, man, listen, man, you know, that was a good joy. They had Unlimited marijuana. I know. I, I, trust me. I tell people that all the time. I say, yo, I ain't never been nowhere where I've seen Damn, a bowl. Whole, you know bowl, what? <laughs> bowl. Just grab and roll, bro. Yeah, you feel me? I, I said, yo, I said, it, I said, if that's how this 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 industry is, I said, I got to be in all that type of stuff for real. Oh, man, listen, man, I need you to come on down and and and, and like I'm 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 listen, man. I, I got family I, in Atlanta, and my family keep telling me they're like, "Yo, you doing the radio, and you ain't come down yet? What are you doing now, V? What you, what you what you scared of this? Year? Wifey got you on the pandemic thing, don't she? <laughs> no, no, I'm cool. I just been she doing, you know. She not letting you travel. That's what it is. No, bro. no, no. I'm good to travel. I just ain't had nobody, you know, to say. Come, you know what I mean? Come out here, like, whatever, so. All right, so this is what I'm going to do, man. Um, I'm going to call my peoples. I'm going to call my peoples, and I'm going and I'm, um, I'm to get you on the Coalition DJ's anniversary as media where you interview people on the red carpet. Um, and, you know what I mean? I, I know they're going to go through credentials and whatever, whatever. I'm going to try to just push you in. But I think, right. you have a, I think you have a good enough platform to be on that situation. You feel what right. I'm saying? I, I, I got... I got a couple people on the situation, so my word is solid. So, you know, you know that's that's the phone call that I'm gonna make for you tomorrow. And then another, yeah, plus, I mean, I'm, I'm there. You know this, what I mean? Like this, the, the, this is the crazy the part. Now the people around can see this and say, like, damn, the nigga just put you on something again. Woo, 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 woo. See, this is this is what niggas don't understand. I'm willing to help anybody, but I'm not gonna help anybody that just don't do, don't bring me no don't bring me nothing. Y'all just y'all just don't bring me nothing. Y'all just give me problems. But then you you be mad that I don't fucking plug you in. I plug in right. anybody. Anybody that tell you that I don't fucking give up the plug is a fucking liar. I give up the plug. <laughs> I give up the plug. You know why I give up the plug? Because I already bought the plug enough money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The plug loves me. You're going to fuck it up. If you fuck it up, hey, man, hey. Hey, that's on you, man. That's on you. You can't. You, you're good already. Hey, when I go, yeah, when I get that invite to that plug's party and you don't get the invite, hey, I don't got a plus one. <laughs> I don't know what happened to your invite. What happened. <laughs> Whatever you did wrong, that's on you, brother. You got you exactly, to live yeah. with that. I don't got to live with that. Yeah. You always say, look, I'll put you in the room. Like I always say to people, I said, look, I've been in that room. I said, you put me in the room. And you said, here you go. This is what I mean. I'm out. <laughs> it's on you, brother. Hey, I ain't holding your hand. You in here now. Do what you do. So I get you. But yeah, definitely, bro. I, I'm there. You know what I mean? All right. So yeah, I'm going to make that phone call tomorrow and um, see what we can do to get you in as, um, you know what I mean, as media. And I think that you have enough credentials and things going on that you can you could be on that situation. You might just want to get yourself a flight out there, get you a hotel, yeah, get you an Airbnb, yeah, whatever the case may be. You got family, whatever. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I I, I don't know what to tell you. That weekend, I'm I'm tr yo, trust me, I, I'm I'm good. So you know, I, I and look, I've been I've been saying that to myself. I said, uh, I've been saying that. I was like, man, I gotta get to Atlanta. I gotta get to Atlanta because I was like, this this ain't open here. I gotta get around. That's you know, open. more art. You know how I am. You know I, I you know. You know what? The only places that is open is Houston. Houston is open. And, and yeah, Philly, Philly got a uh, Miami, but the industry. Is in Atlanta. I'm not saying nothing is else is open. You can't move, but the industry is in Atlanta. Interviews, yeah. um, big name artists, producers, DJs, clubs open every night. Record play, blah 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 blah. Everything is moving and shaking. I just got off the phone with my with my interview and my interview people who. 
I'm about to do some runs with some artists real quick um, in the next couple of weeks. But my interview people, like I'm, I'm, I got Dirty Glove Black, Dirty Glove, Dirty Glove Bastard. I got Off the Porch. I got Hood Affairs. You know, Hood Affairs. I'm, I'm a, I'm a official Hood Affairs DJ. So I don't oh, even know right, <laughs> niggas didn't even know that. Like I'm official. Nah. I, 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 I didn't even put that out there. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Listen, man, like anything that needs to get done out there, I'm getting it done. I got radio. I got FM radio, three stations. Yeah, you moving. You know what I'm saying? It's just relationships, bro. I got Shade 4 5. I got all that shit. It's just relationships because niggas are seeing me in the mix and they like, oh, yeah, I know who the fuck you is. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, shit. Boom. Facts. I'm well, yo, man. Look, it was dope talking to you. I appreciate it. You already know, man. Like, you know how we move, man. Um, once again, thank you, DJ Alamo, for rocking with Hype City. Yo, you. salute to you. Keep me in touch with that at that info too, my dude. Tomorrow morning, cause cause we got to get that together right away. Like, nigga, this shit about nigga. Last year, I'm up, last year we had Ti, Rick Ross, Two Chains, Wife and Lucci, Trouble, Boosie. Fucking uh, B.O.B., Trap Beckham, um, 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 <laughs> um, uh, Fujiano, um, nigga, the list could go on. Like, that's yeah. what we and, had and, and, last year. That was last year. And this one probably going to be super crazy because a lot of these guys, you know, like, they, they itching to get on this stage. So I know this going to be crazy. Who's been performing in Atlanta, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the shit is open you know what I'm saying it's, it's just the fact of whatever bro like I'm gonna get you in there bro I'm gonna work it out yeah. I appreciate it man, Yo, Yo, hit cool. me, man. So, so if anybody on here who's seen it <laughs> and, and, and saying Alamo don't help niggas man I'm just not helping your fucking bum and lazy ass man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying nobody got time for that shit man Get off your asses and let's work, man. My, my, my shit is available. Jump in my DMs. Let's talk about it. Even if y'all want to take me to lunch. I like to eat, my nigga. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's, 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 you know what I mean? let's talk business, man. Y'all not talking business in 2021. Yeah. No one we is going to help your career. No one's coming to save y'all. No one's coming to none of that. Get to work. Get them views up. Get them fans up. Get them people talking about you more. That's what's going to get us in the mix. Right. Definitely. So, whatever we could do, brother, let's help them. Hype City, Alamo, Coalition DJs, and all my other affiliations I'm with. We outside. All right, my dude, yo. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Salute oh, to you. Yeah.